Daybreak. Presented by Hannah Murray. Good morning. Joining us on the line now from the UK is Danielle Collins. She's the world leading face yoga expert, which has been scientifically proven to help you look younger. She's the author of Danielle Collins's Face Yoga, has four top selling DVDs, five apps, a yoga mat range and an organic skincare range. We're going to be finding out a bit more about face yoga, its benefits and how we can incorporate it into our daily routine. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning, Hannah. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. And you? Yes, good, thank you. Oh, it's great to catch up with you. So for people who haven't heard our chats before, just explain A, what face yoga is and B, how you came across it. So face yoga is a natural way of looking and feeling younger and healthier. So it's a combination of exercises for the face, massage, acupressure, relaxation, and there's a really strong well-being aspect throughout it as well. So it's about strengthening and toning the muscles under the skin, which helps to firm the skin attached. The massage is excellent for helping to boost the circulation. It's very good for helping the skin to detoxify through the lymphatic drainage and help the skin have a really nice, healthy, energetic glow. Um, There's acupressure points, which are wonderful for overall wellness. Um, A lot of it is about relaxation. So starting to be aware of how we're holding tension in our face, how we're creating expression lines and how those cause lines and wrinkles and how we can therefore reduce and prevent them. And then also about how we can just feel good on the inside as well. You know, I'm such a believer that if we work on the inside, this makes a massive difference. Obviously, for our overall well-being and wellness but also on how we look on the outside you know how we feel on the inside really shows through our face Mm. and presumably this literally is something that everybody can do Absolutely. Face yoga really is for everyone. So you can do it anywhere, at any time. You know, you can do it sat on your sofa. You can do it at your desk. You can, some people even do the hands-free exercises while they're driving the car. You know, you really can do it everywhere. And you can do it at any age as well. You know, I work with, I work with teenagers and I work with people in their 80s and their 90s. You know, it is for everybody. So uh, you mentioned people in the car. I expect there's Mm -hmm. people listening in the car right now. And um, I think it'll be really funny to get them to do some face yoga and see if they get looks from other drivers. (laughs) (laughs) So what are some of the ones? Can you talk us through a, a couple of simple exercises that we can try this morning? Sure. So we'll start with one that you can actually do when you're driving and then I'll show you one that you can do if you've got your hands free at the moment. Okay. Um, so first of all, if you just puff your cheeks out full of air, so keep your mouth closed whilst you're doing it. You'll need to breathe, breathe in and out through your nose and then just transfer that air from cheek to cheek. So you're puffing the cheek out one side, moving the air to the other side and just keep that going side to side. Now, if you can do that for about 30 seconds and then in time work that up to one minute that's perfect and what we're doing there is strengthening and toning the muscles in the cheeks we've got lots of muscles in the cheek area and as we exercise those in the same way as we can exercise the muscles in the body they become stronger they become more toned and then the skin attached to it is tightened and tautened and firm so an excellent one for lifting and firming the cheek area and the lower face I I must admit I felt it straight away as soon as I started doing it I could feel it in in the cheeks like you can feel the stress immediately exactly and it's great and imagine if you're doing that every day you know this is the key with face yoga repetition is key so just doing a little bit every day you know it doesn't need to be hours and hours a few minutes every day dedicate yourself to a few exercises and then that's how you actually see those long-term results you know every day you're strengthening and toning those muscles and you're keeping the skin firm as well Mm. it's one of those things that it's just well remembering isn't it and then getting into a routine so it becomes automatic Absolutely. It's just making it part of your routine. And like I said, you can do it anywhere. So even if you're sat in the evening watching, you know, your favourite film or favourite television programme, do a few techniques then, you know, do a few while you're driving the car, integrate it into your daily routine. Or, you know, if you have got the time and you would like to dedicate that sort of pampering self-care time for yourself, then actually sit down and enjoy doing it in a nice quiet space for you. You know, there's so many benefits of doing that as well in in that quiet, dedicated moment. Mm. 
And what about another one where we have to use our hands? So this isn't for people who are currently driving. (laughs) Absolutely. Well, one of my favourite ones, which actually works the whole face, and this is one you can do when you've just applied your moisturiser or your serum or skin oil, is you take all of the fingertips and you tap all the way over the face. So start at your forehead, tap with the fingertips all the way over the forehead area, and then you can move down a little bit lighter under the eyes. The skin around the eyes is really thin, so you want to be quite gentle there and then all the way over the cheeks tapping above the mouth under the mouth gently tilt your head back a little bit just work up and down the neck and this is helping to boost the blood flow it's boosting the circulation so it's bringing all the fresh blood and nutrients and oxygen up to the skin surface so feeding the skin brightening the skin and it's also helping to detoxify anything which causes dull skin so it's very good particularly for things like puffiness in the face dark circles particularly when you're working gently around the eye area so that's a great one and if you can do that again between about 30 seconds and a minute you'll find that that brightens your skin a great one to do whenever your skin's looking a little bit tired Mm, fantastic and um, are there any that um, particularly target wrinkles and things Mm. like that so the main areas of the face that I suppose people can can worry about often is is around the eyes crow's feet isn't it what they call it absolutely yeah Lots of my exercise target those areas because, again, we are working on strengthening the muscles under the skin. And then as the skin is attached, it's tight and tautened and firm. So very good for reducing lines and wrinkles. Um, A really, really nice one, particularly for um, that area sort of between the eyebrows. You know where we tend to get those those sort of lines because we're pulling pulling inwards. Mm. Um, You can actually use your index fingers and just stroke up between the eyebrows. So use one index finger sort of almost like in a horizontal position one and then the other and what that's doing is that's helping to relax a muscle between the eyebrows called the procerus muscle which we tend to hold a lot of tension in and when we hold a lot of tension in that area we tend to actually pull that area inwards and after doing that day in day out for many many years we actually create those lines there so what we're doing here is we're relaxing the muscle to help to soften any current lines but also to prevent any lines coming as well and And then if you're finding that you have lines around the eyes, so that sort of crow's feet area, a really lovely one to do for that is make your index finger and your middle finger sort of into a V shape and just place your two middle fingers just in the inner corners of the eyes, just where the edge of the nose is, where that little natural indentation is. And then just place your index fingers very lightly on the outer edge of your eyes there. So you're sort of creating that little V position with the fingers. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to sort of half close the eye so it's almost like the lower eyelids are moving up and it's almost as though everything's becoming a little bit blurry as you do that and what you want to feel is a little shake or little pulse where your index fingers are and when you feel that for about three seconds relax your eyes back to starting position and then take that again and just keep that going as a continuous movement and what you're doing there is you're strengthening and toning part of your orbicularis oculi muscle which is a muscle that runs all the way around the eye and again if you're doing this on a daily basis it's a great one for helping to reduce crow's feet lines i'm glad this isn't a public space because people are <laughs> people wondering what on I'm, doing. I'm doing everything that you're saying and <laughs> probably look very silly um so when you do i know you're a, a, a normal yoga teacher if you like do you incorporate face yoga into your normal yoga classes or do you do them separately both. So, I mean, how I started was I was teaching a lot of yoga classes as a yoga teacher. So after overcoming quite a severe illness, I was very, very ill with ME in my early 20s. Um, and then as I managed to heal myself through yoga and lots of other nice natural holistic therapies, I was teaching a lot of yoga. And this is when people were saying to me, I love what yoga does for my body. You know, I love what it does for my mind. I'm feeling tones in my body, calmer in my mind. But what about my face? You know, what can I do? for my face that that is natural and holistic and this is when I started doing a lot of research into techniques which have been used for thousands of years in India and China and Japan but also looking at new research into the face and how we can strengthen the face muscles how we can use massage techniques and use them ourselves on our face and I after I did that I created my method the Danielle Collins face yoga method and started teaching a little bit at the end of yoga classes so that's how I started originally just 
just teaching a little bit to clients at the end of a yoga class and people were loving it. They were getting great results in their face because they were doing it on a regular basis. They're enjoying it being part of yoga. And then I've been really lucky over the last decade or so because now face yoga has become so popular worldwide. Um, I teach now mostly standalone sessions just because I've become so busy with the whole with the face yoga with Daniel Collins face yoga method. Um, I train people to be face yoga teachers. So we've got 500 teachers of my method in 50 different countries and they all teach either dedicated face yoga classes or they integrate it into other yoga classes or other beauty therapies that they do. So in terms of what your, your question, it can be done either way, really. I now tend to teach it more focused just on the face yoga, but I'm so passionate about body yoga as well. I feel that that's such an important part of overall well-being and it benefits benefits the face so much as well. Um, in my new book, I actually dedicated a section at the end to talk about body yoga and actually how this is so beneficial for the health, but also what poses can benefit the face as well. Mm, great stuff. Well, if people want more information, they uh, should definitely get a copy of your book. What's the new one? So my new book is called Danielle Collins's Face Yoga, and you can get this on at Amazon. It's actually on pre-order and it launches on Tuesday. So you can order it now on pre-order anywhere in the world. It's $10.99 and just go to Amazon. So it's called Danielle Collins's Face Yoga. Fantastic. We shall do that. Danielle Collins, thanks so much for joining us. Great to chat with you. Great. Take care. Bye. Bye bye.